Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Live. We're back again. We're back after a, a long hiatus. You know, uh, a lot of things happened uh, while we were gone. You know, we had a lot of uh, personal life events happen. Uh, and, you know, most notably, we had uh, the passing of Chadwick Boseman, you know, Black Panther, a uh, real gift. On Wakanda the- forever. Wakanda forever, forever, man. We that that went through us. That, that, went through us for that was a what a what an honorable, amazing man. Mm-hmm. And it was sad that, that we lost him. But but we're back more to. Uh, well, you know, we 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 came up with this Avengers series because there was an idea. To merge learning to live and the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the biggest and best package you can ever find on YouTube. So what we're doing, like really our our purpose behind this is, you know, Ilias kind of came up with it, but really it was a drive for families to come together, take time out of their busy week, watch a Marvel movie together, mm-hmm. and then attach it to a mental wellness topic. Because just having that family time together is amazing and and i found that really the if you once you engage in the mcu universe it's cross-cultural absolutely there's so much that can be learned by parents you know children every cousins whatever you know language it it is it is its own language and we got a big one today like one of the big biggest and glad that we hit it we are going in chronological order as the movies were meant to be watched Mm -hmm. so this week we are doing Iron Man, finding your path. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, let's get let's, ju- let's jump right into it. Let's do it. All right. First, first we find Tony Stark riding through the Afghan desert. Mm-hmm. And right. Like, and Alcohol in that. hand. Very arrogant. Just just thinking that that he runs the world. A bit of an a hole. Yes, see, I, I would, I would, I would say that he, he is a bit of a jerk, mm-hmm. but that really comes from. He doesn't really have a path. He doesn't really have a purpose. Tony Stark, his whole life has been lived through being Howard Stark's son. Exactly. He's brilliant. He's great. He's rich. He's handsome, but all uh, it, none of it is really internally his he hasn't found what direction he should go he's inherited his father's weapons company Mm -hmm. which is continuing to make money and that's what he's doing he's actually going to a weapons test to begin with Mm -hmm. but within the context of that what happens well he gets uh he, he gets jumped you know he gets blown up with everybody else unfortunately he ends up getting blown up and within that context he's actually blown up by his own weapon exactly the own stark industries weapons that he created actually blow tony up and during that time he has an awakening if you will yeah that's a good way to put it that this isn't my path i'm living in my dad's shadow i'm living in my dad's shadow i'm what what do i stand for because actually, you know what's a good thing? We, that we watched the Captain America before this in chronological order, which, you, by the way, you should check out. Really good video, if yeah. we do say so ourselves. Yes, exactly. Uh, Perseverance, Captain America and Perseverance. Exactly. And you should also check out the Captain Marvel video, uh, which is also really good. And decoding you. Exactly. Uh, so, as you can see in Captain America, the first Avenger, Howard Stark and Tony Stark, there's a lot of similarities between them. And Howard Stark is like his young age. He's very cocky. He's not as much of a jerk as Tony, but... He's still like a playboy, you know what I mean? He's also very smart in leading technology at that point. And you see with Tony as well, like even in modern day, literally and figuratively, he's living in his his father's shadow and it gets him blown up. And the one thing about that that, that's different though, and this is what we really want to focus on, is so many times as far as mental wellness, we need to find our path. Mm -hmm. Howard Stark's path was to be an inventor and a creator. And then World War II came, he ended up developing weapons to to save the world in a positive way. But that continued on to Tony. And and the weapons weren't really being used to to fight evil. They were really maybe even being used to promote evil a little bit. It's it's a business. Yeah, and it wasn't Tony's journey. It was still his father's journey. So that's one thing that's very important 
that finding our own path, and this is something families out there, please talk about this. For sure, for sure. This is a really important conversation to have, especially, you know, with a parent and child relationship. We've had this conversation before to have your own journey. Don't live just in your parents, what they want you to be or what they were to be your own self and your own person. You don't exactly have to go to the lengths of Tony and like in creating your own Iron Man suit to find it. But, you know, like you have to go through your own introspection in order to find it. And he certainly does in this movie. And another thing that this movie that's very, uh, another important message from this movie is knowing who has your best interest in mind, mm -hmm. as we'll talk about as, as we go on. We know Tony definitely has this. Uh, <laughs> from <laughs> man to Iron Man. Tony, as we discussed, thought his purpose was being the millionaire and just kind of living off his dad, being arrogant. You know, you can see where he says, oh, sold another $500 million unit. You know, mm -hmm. he's cool, but he doesn't, he's not connected. He doesn't care. He doesn't appreciate things. And that's what his path goes from man to Iron Man. Exactly. And that's just, it had to take a missile in order to uh, make him realize that he wasn't, he had a lot of things that was lacking in his life that he had to go on that journey in order to discover on his way to Iron Man. Basically. And, and so many times, this is, this is a good discussion piece too, is that we have to be on the brink of maybe mental or physical or emotional. I mean, it doesn't always have to go there, but many times that will push us into seeing what is my path. And that's what, that's what happened with Tony. And the missile, uh, if I may, before we go into Through New Eyes, um, the missile is a really good metaphor in that case because it's like the bomb has been dropped on Tony that he needs to clean up his act, that he needs to become Iron Man and go on his own path. Uh, of course, not a lot of people actually have to go through that bomb, but it's a really good metaphor. I'm just like a knowledge drop almost. Yes, and and this this is a perfect segue into what we're talking about here. The suit that Tony wore was a suit of arrogance. It was a suit of disconnect. It wasn't a suit of his creation. It wasn't him. No. It wasn't him. It was something that was put upon him. And so many times in life, we live what was what has been put upon us by others, what has been put upon us by relatives, what has been put upon us by our boss, by our teachers, by our coaches. We have to live that path that's in here. Exactly. What direction do we want to go? What direction is fulfilling? to us, what direction like matches our talents. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's one thing that, that I, I kind of love about what, what goes on here. You know, I, you've been able to make my own path basically. Yeah. Like, I, oh, go ahead. Like, especially like with schooling, like I, I currently I'm enrolled in PSEO. It was my final year right about now in high school. And maybe explain to it what PSEO oh, Some people uh, don't for know sure. that. Uh, for PSEO is a uh, stands for post-secondary enrollment options, which is a, a program in, at least in Minnesota, I think it goes like in other Midwest there's states. Other, there's other states too. Uh, where you can uh, participate in high school and your classes there can create, uh, well, sorry, you, you're enrolled in college and the classes you are in there, uh, the credits go to both high school and college requirements. So you can get multiple years ahead on your path essentially. Yeah, and and that was that was driven by Silver PC here. Yeah. That was driven by Elias. Mm -hmm. And and another thing that I was going to bring in, just the whole video game things and how you have actually turned that into kind of a mini career, mini business. Yeah, like because uh, I've been invested in it for a long time, and I decided, you know what, I just kind of want to go for it. I want to invest in it so I can potentially make my own career path in there as well. And thankfully, no one else was creating that or behind the scenes was like engineering it. Of course, you guys thankfully have helped me uh, with me and uh, you and uh, my mom, of course, but uh, you guys weren't engineering it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and I think that's another thing that's very important. Parents out there, please be supportive of your, uh, of your child's dreams. Mm -hmm. Please be supportive of the path that, that they feel comfortable with. Now we have to guide them. I mean, obviously it can't be something Parents. reckless, yeah. but we also sometimes hold a standard that's what we want instead of what our individual child wants. And this is what Tony suffered with. And then he understands when he gets hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been living a lie here. Yeah. And that is when he starts his journey to becoming Iron Man. Within yeah. that path, as with all of us, you have enemies and you have allies. 
he had a lot of he had a lot of friends and a lot of ad- adversaries during his uh his little trek onto becoming Iron Man. And sometimes it's really hard to tell who is who. Yeah. Because uh, at first, uh, Jensen, the guy who actually brings him, you know, puts the puts the magnet in his chest so the metal doesn't come to his heart. I mean, it looks like he's an enemy. Yeah. I mean, he's standing over him with a, he's plugged him into a battery. It looks like he's dissecting him. It's like, oh, yeah. scary surgeon. You know yeah, I mean? and, and so many times in life, those people that do those hard things that keep us going, that keep us alive, that tell us the hard truths, sometimes we think they're the enemy. Exactly. exactly. And they're not. You know, and then he also has pot, uh, pots, pepper pots, pepper yeah. pots. Yeah, pepper. Sorry, I can remember your first name. <laughs> pepper. That should pepper pots. It should go. But pepper pots, who is who is loyal and cares about him, and, and is really there for him at all moments in time, even when he's running around being, you know, this is the playboy. Yeah, yeah, and and maybe arrogant and rude, but you know, there's people who really have our best interests and Delivery. support us without any ulterior motives. Mm-hmm. And, and those are the kind of people we gravi- need to gravitate to. Those are the type of people that help us on our path, Sorry. on our path to success. And, you know, maybe as family, that's, that's a good conversation to have. You know, sometimes defensiveness will come up from both parents or kids when, when maybe somebody touches that, that person that you think is actually out to help you. And they're actually to your demise. So have this discussion mindfully, but but it's always good to really have a discussion. What you know, what is your the, your support system made of? Support. We all need support systems, and they will truly reveal themselves within time. Absolutely. And uh, this this kind of ties in with our last point as well. Uh, you're some of the people that you've been friends with for a long time. You know. Can, they can turn your back they can turn their backs on you and you know they can be on their way to finding their purpose as well yeah and that's one thing that we really find with Obadiah in this movie Obadiah was always in the shadow of Ho- Howard Stark mm-hmm. he was always the second in command and unfortunately you know some people can can handle that some people have that you know uh, first assistant that man that's behind supportive the and, and and can help each other thrive and realize there's a team. Obadiah wasn't that way. He was very jealous and vindictive and self-motivated. Absolutely. And finding your path and your purpose for people goes both ways, as we see. Mm-hmm. Goes good and evil. Yeah. And Obadiah's path really was dark. He felt inferior and he operated out of fear. And 90% of the time, when people feel inferior and operate out of fear, they will crush anyone that gets in their way. They go down a really dark path. And as we see as Obadiah, nothing really could stop him. No, nothing could stop him. And he, once he stepped down that path, nothing was going to fulfill his desire to be recognized, to be given what he felt was his due. So that's one thing about purpose and paths. They go two ways. Uh, Now you always have the choice within that Mm -hmm. to make that right journey. So Obadiah at any point in time could have reflected and gone, wow, I'm hurting people here. Mm -hmm. You know, Tony's practically a son to me and I'm wanting to kill him. You know, that's like another thing that we should mention. Uh, It's uh, what we should bring up here is that feeling inferior isn't a necessary, like it won't necessarily make you Obadiah. You know what I mean? It's the path that he took, the the, the actions that he took in response to his feelings that led him down that dark path of course you can choose other actions that are more beneficial to you and others in reaction to those uh negative feelings and negative affirmations uh but yes yeah and and that is your own could be your own finding your purpose and that and that was that's sorry not, i didn't mean to interrupt you but that's one step that i i would that this one direction i would like to go in as far as that operating out of inferiority uh, whenever you see that character in a movie or even that character in real life, mm-hmm. it, it usually ends up dangerous. Yeah. Now we all have insecurities and there's, you know, there's, there's real things in life where maybe we were not treated as good as others, mm-hmm. but we have to flip that. We have to see our value in us and not see our value in positions, in wealth, in acknowledgement, in fame. But really, if if Obadiah, Obadiah was a smart business guy. He was. If he would have used that for good, how far could him and Tony have gone? 
I mean, you could even see how smart he was when he was acting like evil, you know? Like how he yes. locked Tony out of uh, the board of directors. Yes, yes. But it's just the way that he, it's a path that he took and the actions that he took that put him down that dark path, despite, you know, his genius. And, and that's the one thing that, as we're going to talk about Tony's path today, later on, we're going to kind of talk about the development of Tony's character, because yeah. as as everyone who's a Marvel fan knows, he plays a he plays a big part in the whole series. And there's there's lots of things he goes through in the future, you know, anxiety and just a, a multitude of a different, you know, it's a lot of the Marvel universe is actually the evolution of Tony Stark. Certainly, certainly. And, and we're going to see that. But He's moving in a path that even though he has some insecurities and everything, he's always attempting to move towards doing the right thing. Where Obatai, we are our actions. Mm -hmm. We're not what people say about us. Sometimes we're not even the own our own thoughts yeah. in our head. Mm -hmm. You know, our thoughts will be negative. But until we act on them, they don't become us. We are our actions. Exactly. And Tony Stark is Iron Man. This is this this is a key point in his journey. For sure, for sure. Like the actions that he took, as we were talking about, our actions make us who we are. He went through, you know, this horrible, tragic event, you know, with Jensen and all that. And then he has to go through Obadiah and all the troubles that came with that. The actions that he took during that path, uh, and basically for the better, like of the world and himself, of course, yeah. uh, led him on to who he becomes at the end of the movie and the end of the cinematic universe, as we'll get into in future videos. Yeah, and I think the beautiful thing about the representation in this story about Tony Stark becoming Iron Man is that just because our journey had some negative stuff in it, just because he was making weapons, just because he was made poor choices all over the place okay mm -hmm. as long as you're moving towards that ultimate good as long as you're trying to figure things out as long as you're searching for your path that's that's going to lead to uh you know self-actualization and and benefiting others you know uh, caring about yourselves and caring you know loving yourself loving your neighbors all those type of things the cool thing about the, the physical representation is, is Tony wore a suit before. He wore yeah. a suit of arrogance. He wore a suit of self-righteousness. He wore a suit that, of disconnection that said, I'm going to send these weapons over here. Mm -hmm. You kill each other. You risk your life. And I'm going to make money from it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be a jerk. And I'm going to think I'm great because you're fighting with my weapons. Exactly. You know, even the Jericho scene. Where the weapon blows up behind him, it's kind of like, I mean, yeah. it almost looks like he's like walking on the water, yeah. or like some some type of angelic being or so. And as cool as we think that scene is, it's super glorified, and it's definitely a great representation of what a character is at that point in time. Yes, but when he becomes Iron Man, the weapon becomes him yeah. for the good of others. He puts on that suit to go help others. Of his own he, design. Yes, of his own, it is him. This is not Howard Stark. This is not Obadiah. This is Iron Man. And that's what I'm telling for all my friends out there. Please, people, get on your path. Find your, find your purpose, your path as an Iron Man or Iron Woman or mm -hmm. Iron anything. Yeah. Just move forward with that desire in here that is you. And don't beat yourself up for mistakes in the past. Of course. All that was used for the good. It can be used for the good, as Tony did, or for the bad, as Obadiah did. But all our experiences and everything, once, sometimes we get stuck mm -hmm. in that guilt. And we continue to like beat ourselves. Oh, I'm not a good person because I did that. Self you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. You can't judge that person back there because that person back there doesn't know what this person right here knows. It's only going to serve as a roadblock on your path. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it is it is part of who Tony was. Certainly. If he hadn't had that, he wouldn't have come to the realization to be Iron Man and you know save the universe a couple times, yeah, right? Yeah, just for kicks, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Now we got to do our, our our favorite little thing. Yeah, find Stan. Gotta find Stan, guys. You gotta find Stan. Now, this time it's at the the firefighters banquet, I, I believe yeah. that, that stands hanging out with uh it looks like maybe uh, some ladies that might be a little little younger oh, than yeah, him little. but 
<laughs> you know, taste. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's where Stan is, and you might have to catch him in the commotion because uh, this is the scene where you know where Tony like crashes the party. So uh, you you might miss him, but like you got to keep your eyes peeled, you know. Yeah. So that being said. You know, we just thank you guys so much for tuning in and please give us feedback. Yeah. You know, this series is very important to us. We want it to be important to you too. So much can be learned as families from this Iron Man series. And it's 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 taught us so much. And hopefully we'll be week to week from here on out. Oh, here's hoping, yeah. 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 <laughs> please make sure to give us like comments and messages about like your own personal experience with Iron Man or, you know, maybe Captain America and Captain Marvel if you're just tuning into our series. Also, just in case you missed it earlier, please check them out, you know? Yeah. And uh, stay tuned for our future videos as well, of course. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, be strong, be brave, be courageous. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great one. Have a good one, guys.